New Type is a fast and reliable source of Gunpla paints and tools shipped internationally. Purchasing with my affiliate link newtype.us slash frostysnow also helps support me with a small commission. Hey everyone, I am here now at Shindorin Station. On the map, it seems like it would be better to take exit 3, but um, I found that actually there is an entrance here to Techno Mart. So I think that taking this entrance is actually gonna bring me there uh, faster and more directly. And I actually did ask at the information desk and they said that I can just go up to the third floor. So let's go. There's these really nice statues here. So Joy Hobby is actually a really big um, hobby shop. It's not really the cheapest hobby shop. Um, and we don't come here very often because I don't live nearby but um, there aren't very many large gunpla shops left now in Korea um, so if you want to find a place that has pretty much everything from gunpla to other kits this is actually a um, good place to visit if you don't really care that it's original box prices because actually I know overseas uh, you have to pay beyond that in uh, premium prices anyways they sell a really wide range of stuff so i thought it'd be nice to come here and visit and show you guys so here i am at joy hobby let's check out some of the displays Joy Hobby is located on the third floor of Technomart near Shindorim Station. I walked to the subway station exit number 3 and without exiting went into Technomart through the same underground entrance. You'll see it right there. Technomart, where Joy Hobby is located, is famous for selling general electronic goods where you can check out on the other floor while you are there. I actually bought my mom a new phone case and screen cover while I was there. Cookie's friend buys and sells his console games there. Joy Hobby has an online shop as well where you can order from with a Korean address and phone number. Their physical shop is open every day from 10.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. and they are closed every second and fourth Tuesday of the month. Be aware that operation hours and days seem to fluctuate and are usually announced on their official website. While Joy Hobby displays products, they also display a lot of painted work that seems to have come from projects and competitions held by the store. I don't know too much about them, but it's great to see a store promote community and builds. Now, just in case you are wondering, I did ask the store walking in whether it was okay for me to film and the staff there was really chill and said it was okay. You will see the store is enormous as Joy Hobby has at least a little bit of everything under the sun in terms of plastic models, figures, hobby tools, and paints. To my knowledge, it's the last large-scale 
unofficial hobby shop that I know of. The only two shops of this size were Hobby Factory and Anytone, both of which I have videos for. Hobby Factory in Seoul has closed down its physical shop and only sells online, and Anytone has downsized. Hobby shops have really taken a hit since COVID. It's really quite unfortunate. Of course, there are still several Gundam based shops in Korea, but that is an official seller. The interesting thing with Joy Hobby is that while they are not an official seller, they always sold everything at box price and limited editions at premium prices. But the whole point of buying from an official seller's, at least for me, is to usually get cheaper prices. Hobby Factory was especially great for that with very low prices. But Joy Hobby is not really a place to go for that. They're more of a one stop shop for everything kind of place. Maybe if you can only visit one shop while you're in Korea or happen to be nearby. What is this? It's really cute. Oh, adorable. While I was in the store, I found a lot of really cute figures and kits. Even though I have a Gumpla channel, I actually enjoy painting everything. I just really love the process of painting itself, and it doesn't have to necessarily be Gumpla or even airbrushing. Cookie and I also had a phase where I only hand painted Warhammer miniatures with acrylic paints got really into MAK, and I really like little figures as well. I find these little models really cute. I have no idea what they are, but... I also used to be really into frame arms girls and bought a lot of them when I was in Japan from secondhand shops at really reasonable prices. Because they are, I guess, slightly more rare kits, they are sold here a little bit pricier. I still think this gold one is super cool. Now, I was really, really surprised when I saw the Gumpla section, or basically the non-existence of it. At least a third of the store used to be filled with Gumpla kits, which is why I came here to film, but now it's basically just one aisle. I mean, look at this picture I took at Joy Hobby the last time I visited. 
At least half of the section I just filmed for this video used to be filled with Gunpla. I did notice a sign which even said that Gunpla stock from Bandai is low, so customers are limited to one purchase of each kit. I also made a big mistake. Even though there was so little Gunpla, I actually only filmed the HG section and was so busy trying to get a good shot of the MG section for my video thumbnail that I forgot to film the entire MG section. Yep. Thing is, I often forget to film for thumbnails, so I was really concentrated on that. If you are a YouTuber, you'll probably get it. I did end up going back another day since it happened to be on my way to work. Anyways, yikes. I was also hoping that maybe there would be more Gunpla the second time around and the low stock was just temporary, but unfortunately it was still limited to this one aisle. It was interesting though that they had a few more rare items like this Ptolemaeus container and the HG Gundam hanger we saw. I do hope that they get a restock and a good healthy Gunpla section again soon. I was tempted to pick this up as well because I'm a big 4 fan, but the price. This looks so darn cute. I realized that I find these little figures really cute because they remind me a bit of Animal Crossing characters, which I was really into for some time. Isn't this adorable? Because Joy Hobby doesn't list any of their prices, I checked out the price on their website and found that they are 27,000 won. The little chubby animals and cute grounds crew set were actually the only thing I considered buying. In the end, I actually left the store without buying anything because honestly, I'm trying to keep my backlog in control and have basically all the tools and paints I need. I'm kind of contemplating going back for them though. Here are all the water slide decals they have in store. I was asked recently by a patron where they can buy Delpi decals in Korea. And honestly, I've never seen a wide selection in any physical stores. I buy a lot of the smaller specific things I need like decals or metal parts online since they stock a much wider variety. Despite not having a large decal selection, you can see as we go along that there is a huge stock of tools. I was also considering getting these plastic rods to replace the metal rods for my SH Studio TriStar X, which I am working on at the moment. Watch out for it in an upcoming video.
If you see pictures of god hand nippers like these in any hobby shop, it means you can ask the staff for one. It's usually not displayed because it's such a pricey item. Paints, paints, paints. Here are the IPP Paints, a Korean brand lacquer paint, which I believe is only available locally. It's really cheap for one of the average colored bottles, about 3,000 Korean won, which is about 250 US. It's also really great quality. You can see the Gaia paint rack looks a little empty, but at least they have the basics. Here are the Kung's paint, another very reasonably priced Korean brand that specializes in chrome, candy, and urethane paints, some of which I used for my recent SD camphor. We are getting near the end of the tour. I mean, has there not been literally a bit of everything under the sun in this place? On this day, from the moment I got off the subway to the storefront and inside the store, I filmed for about two hours. In the past, I used to film just places Cookie and I happened to visit. This is the first time I went to film by myself solely for the purpose of a YouTube video. Even though I've been running my channel for over three years now, I kind of felt like a real YouTuber on this day. I am only able to do this because of the support over on Patreon, which really helps what I do become more like a job. Using my new type affiliate link also helps me out a lot. Thank you so much, everyone, always for your support. I'm planning on doing a few more tours of Gunpla shops and studios in Korea, so watch out for them. So uh, I just finished filming at Joy Hobby and I came out here. Um, I actually walked past Hyundai department store and they had ramen in their, in their uh, food court. But I wanted to go to a proper ramen shop that I had already seen uh, before I came here. Um, and since I'm out and it's a really like nice day, it doesn't take too long to walk there. So I'm just gonna go to a proper restaurant. But to be honest, I think if I were a foreigner visiting Korea, I would just eat at Hyundai department store in the food court and you have a really uh, wide selection of food and uh, you'd probably want Korean food, so. I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters who allow me to build, paint, and produce videos while not having to worry about making a living at the same time. Patreon is a way for anyone to support their favorite creator and content. You can also join us on Discord to chat with me and fellow Gumpla hobbyists. Check it out at patreon.com slash frostedsnow. Thanks for watching.